Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to my channel, Inspired by Ease. My name is Tiana, and I would like to welcome you to your private reading, your private card reading. This is for wisdom, spiritual seekers, not for prediction necessarily, but mostly to give you a new perspective on the energy surrounding you right now. And today we will be working with the Activations Oracle Deck. And this is a very special card deck because it deals with sacred geometry, which is the language of our soul. It's very beautiful, and I hope it will provide you great, beautiful medicine for your heart, for any part of your body that wants and desires it. The second and last oracle deck that we will be working with today is very magical. And it's a fairy oracle deck. And it has lots of interesting and magical creatures inside. So I'm very excited to see which characters will pop up in your reading today that want to talk to you. So, let us begin. I just want to say that my readings are not date-specific. It might be relevant to you in the month of June, or it might be relevant months from now or years from now. And obviously, I do not work with the tarot. And the characters can be switched around, so I might be talking about you or someone else in your life. And if you are a cross-watcher, then I might be talking to you. So, let's get into your messages. Okay, so the first two cards you have are the crown chakra and the solar plexus. And as the name dictates, <laughs> the crown chakra is right here. And the solar plexus is right where your tummy is, um, where your stomach is. Um, it's, you know, above your belly button, right where your stomach is. And the solar plexus is all about your own personal power. So I feel like there is a balancing of energies of gaining new uh, levels of consciousness and information and deeper levels of spirituality while also improving your empowerment and personal power. Uh, it might have to do with setting healthy boundaries, improving your relationship with yourself, uh, maybe even improving your identity. Maybe um, I, I'm just getting that um, maybe you are, you decided to become a vegan or recycle or, um, you know, spiritually enhance your life in some way that feels better to you. Um, maybe buy uh, clothes from consignment shops. Um, 
you know, anything uh, more uh, spiritually centered things that are also um, changing or enhancing your, your personal identity. So maybe you were, ne you were never a person that um, exercised and now you are taking new yoga classes, who knows? Um, but this all dictates um, creating more harmony within each of these chakras and between the two of them. And I also want to point out, oh, you might, you might also be experiencing more energy um, and perhaps healing. Sorry, Leah. Healing in some way and um, maybe becoming more happy or more joyous. And then the crown chakra, purple to me, represents royalty and abundance. Um, abundance in all ways, not just financially. Um, so yet again, as you improve your personal relationship with yourself, other facets of your life will, of course, improve. Now, the second two cards you have are Divine Feminine and Consciousness. So, um, you are becoming more conscious, like the, the crown chakra, <laughs> the crown chakra dictates, uh, like I was saying. And this consciousness is centering around um, becoming more receptive and more allowing. And maybe not being so action-oriented, but instead allowing things to come to you. Um, not to indicate that any sort of laziness, but just a smarter way of um, an easier, more simplified way of living and, um, and using your imagination more and letting it go and letting the universe deliver it to you. Um, this could also indicate becoming just in general more soft and gentle and uh, yeah just more more loving in the feminine way and um, all of us have divine feminine and divine masculine energy um, I have divine masculine and divine feminine and uh, men have divine feminine and divine masculine, and we all have different ratios of the two energies. So, uh, yeah, you're just coming into a place of balancing the two with a focus right now on divine feminine, and maybe there is some kind of situation in your life um, that is requiring a more softer a nurturing approach, um, but with with the fairy cards that you got, I am sensing that this divine feminine energy um, needs to be more directed towards yourself. So this is more about self love, and um, but you never know. <laughs> um, this, after all, is a general reading. So, um, for some of this, for some of you, this might be about self-love, or this might be about, um, offering more, uh, a nurturing kind of love towards someone else or some other type of situation, um, and the consciousness is, um, you know, being able to hold both dark and light, um, holding, hold, having space for everything, and then being able to uh, decide what you want to let go of and what you want to keep in your life um, for 
For the universe, for universal consciousness is an all-inclusive energy. So maybe there have been certain things in your life that you've been resisting where the universe isn't like that. So um, it's all about inclusion and what you don't want in your life. Um, you simply let go of if you can and um, redirect your focus on what you do want. So I would just like to read you these cards, if you don't mind. Oh, thank you, Libra. Okay. So this is the, the crown chakra. It's very beautiful. And as you can see, it has the flower of life pattern, which represents universal harmony between everything. You just need to go outside in nature and see how everything works perfectly together. That's what the flower of life symbol means. So, let's begin. The frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life, supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute a negative energy into light. Very beautiful, Libra. Very beautiful. So now, I will read you the solar plexus, which you can't see it on camera, but it is right where your tummy is. And I'll just wait a moment so this beautiful yellow, vibrant energy flows to you. Beautiful. The frequency of the solar plexus, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, our willpower, as well as our knowing knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. Very beautiful, very beautiful indeed. Now, we will read consciousness. And it's a very beautiful card, as you can see. And the deep blue representing wisdom and everything dividing and separating and growing and expanding. Very good. The frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on all the multi-dimensional aspects that show up so that we can include them in our reality. Oh wow, wonderful. So, you are beginning to more easily manifest things in your life and last but not least, before we get into the fairies, we have a And this card matches my shirt. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Don't forget to breathe. The frequency of Divine Feminine supports our receptive and nurturing and soft side, allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect 
to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all of creation. Wow, Libra. You got some very beautiful and somewhat intense energy going on. So, let us get in to see what the fairies have to say. The magical fairies. So, the first card you have is a bit of a shadow creature. It's okay, he's here to help us learn about our personal energies so that we can turn the shadows into light, just like the consciousness card said. So this is the glad Kona. And yeah. Is the narcissist kind of card, uh, the one of facades. So perhaps in areas of your life, um, I'm not saying you are a narcissist, Libra. I'm simply saying that perhaps in certain areas of your life, you wear a mask. And it's getting to the point where it's not healthy for you any longer. And you don't have to wear this mask anymore. Or there is a person, there is another person in your life that represents the Glen Kona who might have a hidden agenda, who might not be telling you the whole truth, or isn't who they portray themselves to be. Uh, yeah, so whatever this is for you, it is time to cleanse this energy and really become your authentic self. And as with the solar plexus card that we received, you might need to learn how to set healthy boundaries with people. So, um, we have two more uh, shadowy type cards, but it gets really beautiful at the end, so don't worry, Libra. This is all here to help teach you and guide you and support you. So, the first, I will say, these two cards we will focus on first. And we have a Pona's Wild Daughter and Luna, Luna's Doom. And, um, so, a Pona tried to fall out of my hand. So I feel like this, this energy is about to leave you or is in the process of leaving you and it is associated with this, with this card or with this person or with this situation that isn't healthy for you. Um, Epona represents nightmares, fear, uh, past trauma and wounds the dark night of the soul, but she is here helping you through it. She's not going to sugarcoat anything for you, but she is going to help guide you through this process. And obviously here with Luminous Stoom, it's, um, it's very sad, heavy, depressing energy. And you might feel stuck or um, not in touch with your own personal power. 
And that's why the solar plexus card came up because spirit is wanting to help release you from this energy and embrace your personal power that you do in fact have. Libra, you are very powerful. Good news is that we have the undressing of a salad, which is the achieving the impossible card. So whether this is your own internal misery or sadness, or whether it's caused by an outside person or situation, you are going to achieve the impossible. You are going to come out of this on top, and the way to do it is through movement and momentum. In order to remain balanced, you have to keep moving, just like when you ride a bicycle. And the gluminous doom energy is very heavy, very stagnant, um, and very... Uh, what do I want to say? Uh, sedentary. And this is all about staying in motion and keeping all the balls up in the air. <laughs> it might be a little cray cray at first, but whatever the situation is that you're going through, Libra, you will get out of it very soon. And if it is leaving you, this uh, is an energy, um, the old painful energy is in the process of leaving you and this might be something that you had for a long time but you are coming out of it very soon. The next card you have is, I love this little guy, Faf the Flutter, and this is all about the need to ground yourself, to ground and center and stabilize yourself. So, self-love and self-pampering is in order. And you can see that he is holding his foot. I wish you would focus more, but um, but he is holding his foot, so you might need to take some extra care of your feet, get a foot massage, walk the earth barefoot if you can, and. Uh, just do things to ground and center yourself, like meditate, and there are just all sorts of things that you can do, but a grounding and centering and reconnection to your higher power and to your divine feminine, perhaps, um, and I feel like there is something else I want me to say to you. Um, what's coming through is that um, this might only be for one person, but um, we all have energetic fields and um, energetic cords, so you might be needing to cut some cords, quite literally, and there are some videos on YouTube on how to do that, on how to cut energetic cords between you and someone else. And the other uh, message that I received was that you might actually need to tether yourself to the earth 
which is all about this grounding process. Um, but any way that you can make yourself feel more at home and feel more comfortable and relaxed and secure. Now, the last four cards you have are just simply beautiful. Um, we have Geo the Slow here. Geo the Slow. And he has a little grin on his face because he's completely content. Um, there's no need to speed things up, and he's completely patient, and he understands the ebbs and flows of life. So, uh, what I'm getting is that this, this process you are going through, I'm getting a, a healing process, um, a purifying process. Um, it, it's going to take some time uh, to perhaps really find yourself, to find what you're, what you're passionate about to fully heal from this uh, more shadowy energy and to free yourself from it. And also, if anything, it is just indicating to be very slow and gentle with yourself and not rush things. And um, I definitely feel like with if if the gla glanconer is a person, that is the only thing that needs to be rushed a bit because this is not a healthy energy for you, Libra. But as you personally inside, um, you know, just be patient with yourself um, for whatever you have been going through. It has not been easy, and. Um, and it will be beautiful. And you will be very happy with the energy that is rushing to you. The reason why I say that here is because we have this lovely, lovely, beautiful, beautiful energy here. We have the fawn. And we have the dream giver and unity. Now the fawn can represent harmonious divine friendship. It can represent your counterpart. It can represent natural magic. And, um, and friendship at a soul, soul level. So, so there you, you of course are surrounded by your guides and your angels, and this might be how they are coming through as the phone, or an actual person it ha already has or is about to enter your life and almost casts a, an enchantment on you, a loving enchantment, um, an enchantment that is, is wanted that will help you feel more, more whole and at peace. And this will be a person that just completely lights you up and sends electricity and makes you come alive, sends electricity throughout your body. And, um, and maybe, oh, I'm getting guided to these lights, these points of light, and maybe this person is instigating an opening of your crown chakra and helping you see things in a brand new way, in a brand new uh, light um, that makes you happy and giddy. Um, and if not giddy, then it's just um, it's just a very magical, healthy, positive experience for you. And we have the Dreamweaver. 
and I feel like this is how this person sees you. Um, oh, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. Okay, from what I'm I'm hearing, so I am surprised that the piper did not come up. But anyway, um. I feel like they are able, see how she has her eyes closed, I don't know if you can tell, it's just so beautiful, um, it's, it's a two-in-one message, if this person, this person is holding you in the palm of their hand, and they just need to close their eyes, and they know and understand and see you and can feel you, and um and you are surrounded by light and and her feet aren't touching the ground so um so this this beautiful energy that's surrounding you is lifting you up out of this this darkness and plopping you into a new environment that's going to be more highly conducive for you um, and then, also, paradoxically, um, you are holding them in the palm of your hand, and this is how they see you. They see you as this bright light, this star, um, and just a very, very beautiful, beautiful person. They can see past all of, um, whatever darkness or pain you are going through. They seem very empathetic towards uh, whatever it is that you have been going through, Libra. And, um, and it's just, it's, uh, I mean, it's just completely sandwiched. So, so on the other side of the bookend, we have Unity here. And this is just such a beautiful card, so, um, so this is a connection that is equal, and, um, and just creates more life by, by the intertwining of your energies, you are creating new worlds and new brighter light and energy into the world. Um, this is, um, this is just in the beginning stages, I feel like. Um, so you, you might not be aware of it right now, but, uh, when you do come together, um, there, there is a spark there and you're able to kind of Forget about all the pain and all the shadows and just the, the pureness of your spirits get to meet and um, play together for, for the time that you're together. And, um, and it's creating new life out of that, um, out of that imaginary uh, place that the two of you share together and um, it's just branching off and creating new life, um, either literally or just creating new manifestations. So, um, I definitely feel like this person will or is helping you manifest a brighter future. And, um, I'm trying to remember their, um, the, these cards stand stand at the top um, of the deck because they are the um, the spiritual non physical energies. Um, this is the energy uh, before it gets um, put into physical form and represents the unity in everything. So, um, so if this isn't a person, 
if this isn't another person, then you are just coming into more harmony and union with yourself. Um, and we have the number one here, which sits at the top, which sits, it's like the closest um, energy to, to God. Um, and then as it spirals down, the, the numbers increase. So um, when you, you are either, you are either doing this wonderful work and it's helping you connect directly to God, or you and this other person, when you come together, um, when your energies intertwine, um, it is, you be, both of you become closer to God. So, um, it's just, it's just a very beautiful, beautiful energy, Libra, and this is how you're being seen, and that you are powerful and you are this bright light and a star and and this this is temporary okay libra i i hope this this message helped you and i hope you enjoyed this asmr version of uh our card reading and um I, of course, will get better in time, but uh, hopefully you enjoy it, and I hope you have a wonderful evening and day for whenever you are listening to this, and always remember to focus on your breath, because when you focus on your breath, you become more attuned your intuition and it will guide you perfectly to everything.